everyone! Okay, so finally I'm doing an updated foundation routine. I did one before like a million years ago and I used the Revlon Colorstay and I'm using another drugstore foundation. This time it's the Maybelline Superstay. It's kind of comparable, but I like it better. I do have to say before we get started that this isn't like a really easy and quick like lazy sitting around the house or like going to school or just like chilling kind of makeup look. This is like going out, looking awesome, making people jealous of your face, maybe. I don't know. Depends on what you're interested in. Not that you want people to be jealous of your face, but I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna try to make it pretty quick. I'm gonna do like a voiceover thing. I'm also gonna put a big product list down below just to make everything easy and accessible and yeah. Obviously I'm creating this look without all the eyes and the lips and all that. My hair is up in a little turby twisty purple thing. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Okay, so here we go. Look at that awesome turban. You know you love it. I'm all fresh faced and ready to go except for like one coat of mascara. I had to do it. I also prep my skin by using a SPF 30 CeraVe moisturizer. I also use this Hourglass primer. You know I love this primer. Obviously I've used it to death and I really need to repurchase it. Time for foundation. I'm obviously using the Maybelline Superstay. It's a great drugstore foundation. I've talked about it a few times now. Lately, my most favorite brush to use with it is the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki. It gives really, really good coverage. I'm kind of running out of this foundation also, I guess. I need to go shopping. I don't know. Okay, so I finally got some out and I'm just kind of dotting it around my face and not really in any specific place but I usually try to go back and hit those spots that are extra red, like around my nose and on my chin. And we're done, just kidding. Okay, now we're just gonna start blending, blending, blending all over the face. You might have noticed that I don't put any foundation directly onto my forehead, but I do kind of blend it up there. I don't feel like it's a trouble spot for me, but I don't wanna just leave it hanging out there naked with no foundation because the rest of my face has foundation. And I don't wanna make it jealous or whatever. Things got a little crazy back there. Fix your turban. Now it's time to bust out a little under eye concealer. I don't have a lot of problems with like darkness under my eyes but I do have some major baggage and it makes me so sad and so I try to do whatever I can to just brighten up the whole area. I pat on the concealer in kind of the triangle formation all the way to the top of my cheekbones. This doesn't fix my eye bags at all but it definitely makes me feel a little bit better about them. I also go over my lids a little bit and onto the other eye, pat pat pat, you know the drill. Good morning. Okay, on to my other concealer. I just use this wherever there's still redness or weirdness that my foundation didn't cover. A lot of times that's on my chin and around my nose and obviously random little spots all over my face. Next, I'm just using a little duo fiber brush to blend out all that concealer. I also sometimes use my finger for this step and they both definitely work, but I don't know, I just decided to use a brush today. It looks fancy, doesn't it? I know. Next, I use my setting powder and my mini fan brush. I mostly like to use this on the places where I use concealer, like under my eyes and around my nose and you know, all those little random spots. But I also like to do a really light dusting all over my face just to lock in the foundation. Yay, now it's all set. But then my lips looked really weird and so I wiped them off and then I felt a lot better. Next up, I use my Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder, and I use it really lightly, but it just helps brighten up that eye area even more, which you know I love. Next up, I'm using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural, and I'm pretty much buffing that all over my skin. This is definitely a step that you could totally skip if you feel like you have enough coverage, but like I said before, I'm going for more of like a flawless coverage kind of thing. So that's why I do this step. Next up, I do a little bit of contouring. Obviously, this is even more extra extraness, but I like to do it a little bit on my cheekbones, on my jawline, on my nose, and at the top of my forehead. 
Next up, I'm using some bronzer. I am a bronzer fiend. I'm so obsessed. I could probably make a whole video just about bronzer and contouring and highlighting and all that, but until then, I'm just bronzing it up all over the place. Next, I add a little blush. This is Milani's Luminoso, which is one of my all-time favorites. Then I move on to a little bit of highlighter on my cheekbones and a little on my brow bone. And then boom, I'm all done. Looks nice, right? Yeah, it's pretty easy, don't you think? All right, so obviously this is the finished look with big crazy lashes and my hair is down and dry and curled and I've got lips and a necklace and isn't that much better? Okay, well, I hope you got something out of that and don't forget to leave me comments and questions and whatever you've got to say down below. I know you will. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. It's all Leanne Says, so that's facebook.com slash Leanne Says. On Twitter, it's at Leanne Says, and on Instagram, just Leanne Says. Tumblr's the same thing, blah, blah, blah. I'll also put the links down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Ta-da. Can you hear that? Neighbors, please. Shut up.